In this Java tutorial, we're going to learn about if, else if, and else. These commands allow the program to execute or not execute a block of code depending how a Boolean expression evaluates. For more information on Boolean expressions, please click on the link in the upper right hand corner of this screen. Some important facts to know. If and else if require a Boolean expression while else does not. An else if must have an if or another else if to latch onto. We'll discuss how this works in a later slide. Also, an else must have an if or an else if to latch onto. Let's write a code with several if expressions. If expressions are unconnected to each other unless they are nested within each other. So one, two, three, or none of these statements could execute independently. Let's trace the code here. We start off by declaring x and setting it equal to 5. Next, we evaluate the Boolean expression in the first if statement. x is less than 10, whereas x equals 5, this is a true statement. So we execute the block of code attached to the if and output the letter a. Next, we evaluate the Boolean expression in the next if statement. x is less than 4, this is a false statement, so we skip the block of code. Finally, we evaluate the expression x is less than 7. This statement is true, so we execute the attached block of code and output the letter C. Now let's move on and look at else statements. Here we've got a block of code that has an if or an else. This else latches on to this if in such a way that if this Boolean expression is true, the if's block of code will execute, or if this Boolean expression is false, the else's block of code will execute. Let's trace this out. We start off by declaring y is equal to 5. We evaluate the Boolean expression y is greater than 10. This expression is false, so we execute the block of code attached to else, and we output the letter e. Next, we're going to take a look at else if statements. So we've got an if, two else ifs, and an else. This section of code must be considered together. Here's how it's going to work. We have an if statement. If this if statement evaluates to true, we'll execute its block of code and ignore all the else ifs and else. If it evaluates as false, we will continue on to the else if. If this first else if evaluates to true, we will execute its block of code and skip everything else. We will keep doing that until we hit the final else. If nothing evaluates to true, then we will execute the block of code attached to the else. Let's trace this out. We start off by declaring z and initializing it to 5. Next, we evaluate the expression z is greater than 10. This expression is false, so we skip the if's block of code and continue on to the else if. The else if expression z is greater than or equal to 4. This is true, so we execute the block of code attached to the else if output g, and skip everything else. Next, we are going to look at another way to attach code to an if or an else expression. If we are only using one line of code, we don't need to include the curly brackets. We just indent it to let other programmers know that it is part of the if, the else if, or the else. Remember, this only works if we only have one line of code. Next, let's look at some common mistakes programmers make. The first is to put a semicolon after the if, the else if, or the else. This takes that statement out of the equation and will execute the block of code in the curly brackets regardless. Another problem this can cause is if we have an else, we will get a compiler error that says else without an if. That's because the else doesn't see the if and can't latch on to it, because there is a separate block of code in between it that is not attached to the if. Another mistake programmers sometimes make is they attach a Boolean expression to an else statement. Only if and else ifs need a Boolean expression. Else's do not. Another mistake that programmers sometimes make is they forget to add curly brackets if they want to have more than one line of code attached to an if or an else if. In this case, since we have two lines of code, 
we need to use the curly brackets to denote the beginning and the end of the code attached to this if. For further reading on if, else if, and else, please go to this website or type if, else, Java, Oracle into Google and choose the first result. To see the next lesson, please click on the video link in the lower left hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right hand corner of the screen.